What's up, everybody? I'm Alexis. This is Danny, and this is another board gamer jargon video. And again, if you're just tuning into this series, there's lots of videos for you to go back and watch. Um, after this episode of this series, we are going to be transitioning into some new content, so stay tuned for the stuff that we've got coming up for you. Start to apply some of this vocabulary that we've been spending these last couple months learning, so it should be a lot of fun. But before we get into all that, we got to get through three more terms. Danny, what is word number one for today's video? All right, all of the terms today are social behaviors that you may see at the gaming table. The first one is kingmaker. Um, I'm gonna guess that this is the person who is winning in the game at any given time. They're the king. They're mm. the the kingmaker. They're the leader of yes. the game when they're when whoever's winning they're the king that's what i'm going with okay <laughs> great guess it's not right but that's okay oh. <laughs> okay <laughs> a kingmaker is someone who cannot win is going to end up deciding who wins like oh, you're I losing like that. okay and you're kind of like pushing towards like somebody else winning you're not gonna win so you're making somebody that else makes win. more sense yeah <laughs> making the king okay i get it yep. all right very cool there you go. okay uh daddy word number two what do we got word number two is alpha gamer well i'm gonna guess that this is somebody who is a you know someone heavily involved in the board gaming world they play lots of games so they've got you know they're confident in their their gaming abilities so when they play games they're untouchable. They know what they're doing. Mm, potentially. Okay. But the actual term definition is is like telling someone how to play their turn. So potentially oh, that personality okay. might be what you I described of like yep. they're so confident that they're gonna start telling everyone else what to do. Yep. This is usually seen more prominently in co-op games where you're the idea is you're working together, but sometimes you have an alpha gamer that's like you do this, you do this, yep. you do this, you do instead of like everyone like co-op and talking together. Yep. It's like one person telling everyone what to do. So attempt not to be a alpha gamer. Let everyone okay. make their own decisions. On it's like turn. the person who takes charge of the school group project and they just want to do everything yeah. and tell everyone else what to do. I got it. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Interesting. Yes. All right. <laughs> Word number three, Danny, what do we got? All right, we have another abbreviation for you. It's AP. Any idea what AP stands for? Uh, my initials, Alexis Pearson, um, yes, for one. obviously. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you threw that in there, Danny. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to guess the P stands for player. Okay. I'm going to guess the A stands for... Maybe I'm wrong with the P, and that's just throwing me off. Um... You want a hint? Do you want sure. one of the one of the words? Yeah, give me one of them. What do you that want? A me. or P? Give me the P. I need to know if I'm right about that one. Okay. P is paralysis. What? <laughs> um, okay, so I was very wrong. Um Wow, this is tough, Danny. Really rounding out this video with a hard one yeah. here. Um Okay, I'm gonna go with an oxymoron. Okay. I'm going to say active paralysis is the first. Huh. No, but that's okay. <laughs> Shocking. The A stands for analysis. So analysis paralysis is when you're taking too long and overthinking your turn. This usually is present in games that have multiple options for you and like you, you don't really know what to do with them. And so you're okay. overthinking your turn. So sometimes you'll hear... AP or analysis paralysis mentioned maybe in like videos you're watching about games mm -hmm. they'll say like this game has a lot of analysis paralysis or they'll say like this game I thought might have but then there ends up not being so a lot of uh, board game designers as they're working through are aware of now analysis paralysis so they're trying mm -hmm. to create games that don't have it um, but okay. you will come across some games where you might be playing with a player and they're just like Oh my goodness. Take your turn, please. Yeah, like yeah. we've been we've been waiting for a while. Or like sometimes it'll happen when you're like playing a game and someone's like, You just waited five minutes for your turn and you didn't think about what you were gonna do. <laughs> yeah. And now yeah. you're thinking about it. It's like <laughs> seems like something that might happen to a new gamer frequently. Somebody who's maybe not as uh you know knowledgeable about the terminology or the way that the game works or the mechanics of the game and so they panic yeah. 
when it gets to their sounds like something that might happen to me once I start playing more of these games is, is what I'm learning here. So interesting. I like Here's that what now. my That's recommendation is for playing games. And this is just everyone plays games differently. Everyone has a different like strategy of like, I want to win every time. I'm a gamer yeah. who just I love to be around people and play games. I'm not necessarily yeah. one that's like always needing to win. Sometimes I win, sometimes I don't, and I'm just there for a good time. So here's my recommendation. If you think you're taking too long, just make a decision. Usually yeah. games are designed where like, if there are multiple options, that's because you can make op- multiple options and still right. win. So just take an action and move on. <laughs> Very good advice, Danny. Very yeah. good advice. Um, and speaking of advice or final comments, what do you have to share with our audience before we say goodbye? I just want to also say what I said last video. So if you watched last video, this will sound very similar. Please, please play some games and let us know which ones you're really enjoying and which ones you found over the course of maybe you've been watching these videos, what terms you've been finding in rule books now that maybe you know the terms. And if you're looking for a game, please go check out Sovereignty. The app is free to download. You can play on your phone, tablet, or computer. You are currently watching a video on the Sovereignty YouTube. So there's lots of tutorials. If you want to learn a new game, I've been making tutorials. Or if you have any questions about the app, there's probably a tutorial out there. Otherwise, I'm Danny. Please contact us if you have any questions. I'm usually the one that answers. So I'm happy to help. And if you want to play a game with us, we have game night every Tuesday, 6 to 8 p.m. Central Time. And we usually gather on Discord, but you do not need discord you can just find us on the browse table section of sovereignty every tuesday night great advice and i'm gonna (laughs) i'm gonna add on to that we don't normally have alexis's final thoughts but i'm gonna throw some out there today what are your final thoughts (laughs) just to echo what you said you talked about all the different platforms sovereignty has where we share content and you know answer questions and and you know show people how to do stuff and, and learn these games and whatnot and so if you aren't already following sovereignty on youtube twitter instagram whatever uh social media is is your favorite go give sovereignty a follow because there's lots of great content out there whether you're somebody like me who's new to the gamer community or somebody who considers yourself an expert uh there's content for everybody and games for everybody on sovereignty so Go subscribe, like, share, tell your friends, um, and, and try out a few games in the meantime. So like we mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, we might come back to the series, do more at some point, but we are going to start doing some new content for you guys. That'll be coming out sometime um, within the next couple weeks. And so stay tuned for that. Hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing this series. Hopefully you guys like watching it. Um, like I said, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your week. Bye, guys. Bye.